Welcome to this episode of Eureka. We are going to talk about a very interesting project that India has embarked on. This is about India-based neutrino observatory. Before we go into what is this neutrinos, let me say some fundamental part. We all know everything is made up of atoms. And inside atoms, there are elementary particles like proton, neutrons and electrons. But beyond this, there are a number of other fundamental particles and elementary particles that which physics have found out. One such particle is called as neutrinos. Somewhere around 1930s, people were looking at a phenomena called as beta decay. Let us take an example of cobalt 60, which has 27 protons inside it and 33 neutrons. One of these neutron emit electron and become positively charged protons. So, which means the number of protons increase and the atom becomes a nickel. The atomic weight remains same 60, but it becomes a nickel 60. So, a cobalt becomes nickel 60. In this process, one electron comes out. When people calculated, you know, the total mass before and the mass later, that is the mass of the uh, nickel and the electron, they found that there is something missing. Matter and energy can be neither created nor destroyed. So, people postulated that there should be a particle called neutrinos. That is when we got the idea that there should be a particle called neutrino. And for uh, last many years, people have been researching on this uh, elusive particle which uh, does not interact in uh, electromagnetic spectrum or uh, in normal way because it is uh, electrically neutral. It is a very, very elusive particle and sometimes people uh, euphemistically call it as ghost particle. We want to study this particle because maybe some uh, key to understanding our universe, dark matter, dark energy, why there is matter and less of antimatter is remaining in the understanding of neutrinos. With this intention, a major project called India Based Neutrino Observatory was conceived and it is proposed to be established in Tamil Nadu. We will take a look at what this project is before continuing this program. We are going to watch a short program on what is India Based Neutrino Observatory. Keep watching Rekha. Today, it is an empty landscape. But within the next five years, this will be home to a path-breaking experiment in neutrino physics. The INO brings together the largest collaboration in Indian science so far. This includes 26 leading science institutions and over 100 scientists who are partnering with some of India's top industries. The collaboration is led by the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research or TIFR at Mumbai. The INO project will dig a 2-kilometer tunnel leading directly below a 1,300-tall rock mountain to build a unique underground laboratory. As cosmic rays pass through the sheer rock, most unwanted particles will get filtered out. The neutrinos will pass through effortlessly and enter the INO cavern. The biggest of the INO's three caverns will house the largest neutrino detector in the world, the iron calorimeter or the ICAL. When completed, the ICAL will be a massive sandwich of magnetized iron and detector plates. Iron calorimeter or ICAL is a record-breaking detector. When completed, it will be a stack of magnetized iron 50 meters in length 15 meters in width and 15 meters in height, rising as high as a five-story building underground. This neutrino detector isn't just a first for India. It will also host the largest magnet in the world at 50 kilotons and 1.3 Tesla. By now, it's obvious. The particle may be minuscule, but its detection requires mammoth instruments. Even so, scientists only expect three neutrino detections per day once the INO is commissioned. Needless to say, if neutrino events are that rare, the detectors had better be extremely sensitive. Particle detectors called resistive plate chambers or RPCs have taken years to perfect at both VECC 
and TIFR. With the INO, India can take a front row seat in global high energy physics and not just scientifically. When completed, the INO will become a hub for particle physicists from all corners of the globe, drawn to the secrets of the odd neutrino. What stories will it tell us? How will it change the way we view our universe? What will it tell us about our past and future? Curious about the answers? Watch this space. Welcome back to Eureka. In this episode, we are going to talk to three important physicists about India-based neutrino observatory. First, we are going to talk to Professor Jogesh Chandrapati. He is a professor at SLCA National Accelerator in the United States, Stanford. His model, uh, his theoretical work with uh, Professor Abdul Salam, a famous Pakistani physicist under Nobel laureate called as Pati Salam model is a very, very important idea, theoretical construct which helps us in understanding neutrinos better. Let's listen to you first. Dear friends, my heartiest greetings to all of you. On behalf of a large number of scientists of Indian origin living in India and abroad, I have the pleasure of introducing you to the theme of this interview program, which you are about to watch. The program is designed to tell you what the Thene Neutrino Laboratory called INO is all about. INO stands for India-based Neutrino Observatory. This laboratory is being built in Tamil Nadu, India. At present, it is awaiting clearance from the authorities so that it may complete the construction that remains and proceed to make advancement in science. Simultaneously, it aims to bring long-term benefits to India as a whole, in particular to Tamil Nadu and the Thani district, by promoting not only science and science training, but also growth in technology and local economy. What is INO? It's an entirely India-made underground laboratory. In the beginning, it aims to study some fundamental properties of one of the most interesting elementary particles called neutrinos. Well, what are neutrinos and why are they so interesting? I will mention two reasons for the latter. First, Neutrinos are very small microscopic particles, like the electrons, as regards their sizes. But, unlike electrons, the neutrinos carry no charge, almost no mass, and hardly interact at all. In fact, they exist all around us, within us, and pass through us. About a trillion neutrinos emitted by the sun are passing through you and me every second, all our life, but we don't see them and we don't feel them. This is why they're called the ghost particles, but of a friendly kind. They cause no harm because they hardly interact at all. Second, they're not only friendly, but they are in fact essential for our existence in the following sense. It turns out that if there are no neutrinos, the mechanism for the sun to produce light and heat will simply stop, and life as we know won't exist. Thus, the neutrinos are crucial to our very existence. In this sense, they are the friendliest particles we have with us, thanks to nature. These are some of the reasons why the neutrinos are special and most interesting. Now, who are the speakers? The program is fortunate to have some of the most distinguished scientists of the world as speakers. They will be introduced properly very soon. For now, I'll mention only briefly about them to note that each of them is specially qualified to tell us about some relevant aspects of the Thene Neutrino Laboratory, that is the INO. They include, first, Professor Takaki Kajita, Director of the Institute of Cosmic Ray Research in Tokyo, Japan. Second, Professor Arthur MacDonald, Director of Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, Canada. Now, both Professor Kajita 
and Professor McDonald won the Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 2015 for their groundbreaking discoveries of neutrino oscillations of two different kinds. Both showed that the neutrinos do have mass, though tiny. Before closing, let me mention the kind of questions which the speakers will address. These include, are neutrinos safe? Would INO be safe to the environment and the people? Second, what would be the special benefits of INO for India, the state of Tamil Nadu, and the Thani district in particular? And third, how would INO benefit world science? These questions are clearly relevant to the people and the leaders of Tamil Nadu and of Thani. At this point, let me make a comment of my own. The INO would be valuable not just to study some important aspects of neutrino masses, but it would continue to provide long-term benefits for decades to come. This is like having the facility right in your backyard, in your own country, and that would transform Indian science. We listened to Professor Pati until now. We are going to take a very short break, but after the break, we are going to listen to two Nobel laureates, Professor Kachita from Japan and Professor McDonald from Canada. Keep watching the recap. Welcome back to Eureka and we are discussing about India-based neutrino observatory in this Eureka. Well, we talked about neutrinos and neutrinos are elusive particle and we know very little about it. But one thing we knew in the past research is there is not just one neutrino but three types of neutrino. Not only that, one interesting property of these three types of neutrino is what is called as neutrino oscillations. There is one type becomes another okay, and this keeps on oscillating. People who found this oscillation, they got their Nobel Prize in 2015, Professor Kajita from Japan. Let us listen to him and after that we will uh, talk to Professor McDonald who shared this Nobel Prize with him in 2015. First, Professor Kajita from Japan. Well, neutrinos are the most difficult particles to observe. Most of them pass through everything, including neutrino detectors. Therefore, to detect neutrinos, we need a very large detector, such as Super Kamiokande. We observe very rare neutrino interactions with these advanced neutrino detectors. There is no doubt that the existence of these detectors will not cause any harm or hazard. But INO will clearly be a unique neutrino detector. INO will contribute to the basic science in the world, or more explicitly, the data from INO will largely contribute to our understanding of neutrinos, elementary particles, and the universe. In addition, the existence of world top level experiments such as INO is very important for training the students. Students learn the cutting edge technology and are exposed to the world community of scientists. Therefore, the students in Tamil Nadu and in India should benefit a lot with the INO experiment. We listened to Professor Kachita and it's very interesting. Now we are going to listen to Professor Arthur McDonald. He is the head of Sudbury Neutrino Observatory in Canada. He shared Nobel Prize with Professor Kachita in 2015 for their work on neutrino oscillations. Humans have looked up at the skies forever. As they became more progressive, they were able to use telescopes to look at the light coming from the heavens in more detail, to understand the stars, and to develop models for how our universe has evolved. The INO is a telescope 
similar to the telescopes used to study light. It's a telescope that studies neutrinos, and it is placed underground because this is the most favorable location to observe these difficult-to-detect particles. But neutrinos themselves are a part of what comes to us from outer space. In fact, they are uh, completely benign. They have no effect on, on uh, uh, human beings, and yet, if we can understand their properties and the ways that INO can help us to do, we can understand how our universe has evolved because neutrinos have played a large role in that over the process of evolution of the universe. Based on the measurements that we have made, we know that neutrinos do have a finite mass. Neutrinos, along with electrons and quarks, are the basic building blocks of nature that we do not know how to subdivide any further at this point in time. But neutrinos are difficult to detect, and therefore their properties are not fully known. We would like to know in particular, with the specific capabilities of the INO detector, what the ordering of the three masses is between uh, the neutrinos. This is something that uh, the Indian scientific community can contribute to the world. It's a basic understanding at the most fundamental level that we are very much hoping uh, that uh, the Indian science community with INO will be able to provide. In this episode, we saw what is India-based Neutrino Observatory and also three international physicists talking about this important program that India has embarked upon. This project not only will give us insights into fundamental ideas of what is nature, what is universe, what is dark matter and also make our understanding of neutrino much better but also will bring high technology to India, fundamental science to India, Indian students and Indian institutions can greatly benefit from this project. Next week we will come back with another interesting conversation, keep watching Vareka. <laughs>